This show is brought to you by Manscaped, the world's leader in below the waist grooming. AFTV, Mo, 1 0 to the Arsenal and uh, fully deserved. 100%. And listen, I didn't think of it at the time, but you've started you're saying 1 0 to the Arsenal, and we used to be experts at that. And do you know what? We've got a very good defensive record in the league. Arteta. <laughs> The yeah, best yeah, moment. Exactly. I mean, it's early days, but, you know, Arteta is bringing that solidity. And these 1-0 to the Arsenal wins, we know how vital they are over a season. If you're trying to build a team that's capable of doing anything serious, you need the ability to eke out some of these 1-0 wins. And realistically, when you go away from home against the top six, any result is positive. 1-0 wins, though. Listen, man, that's, that's what you're expecting or hoping to get out of those games. And we did it perfectly today. Yeah. Um, and before the game, you know, speaking to a lot of Man United fans, they were very, very confident. They had that 5-0 win over Leipzig. But you've got to say, Arsenal, right from minute one, they were brave. They went for it. You know, they created a lot without really having clear-cut chances. But they're on the front foot from minute one in that game right till the end. 100%. This was no smash and grab. This was mm. no victory. This was a controlled performance. And, you know, Robbie, for so long now, I, I've been complaining and under previous managers about games being a toss-up. And that's even at home against lesser teams. But this was against Big Six away. It was not a toss-up. It was controlled. And I think Arteta got the system bang on today. He really, really did. And he deserves a lot of praise. Because, listen, we... Uh, are scathing when it comes to poor performances like the game against Leicester, for example. So we have to give that equal and opposite credit to him. And that's why after the Leicester game, I said, listen, I'm not going to turn on him. I'm not going to say all of a sudden that, you know, I don't trust him or whatever. It's going to be some highs and some lows. We even need to put this one into context. There's no guarantee that the next game we go and play, we're going to boss that. But this is a high and we should enjoy that and give him the credit, just like we gave him a bit of criticism for his decisions um, when we had the low of losing to Leicester at home. 2006. That was the last time we won at Old Trafford it's until the day. Unbelievable when you think about that. It really is. And and not just that. At least you, some people might say that you only play them once a season. But against the top six away from home, it's been like, what, five years or something? Hmm. That, that's a, a large number of games you're looking at there. So uh, look, I'm very, very happy with the performance. And, you know, Robbie, when, when we talk after games, sometimes you're going to talk about certain incidents, certain moments in the games. And, you know, they're not exactly the ones you really want to talk about. But on this on this occasion, I'm thinking, what do I want to say today? And I'm thinking about players that performed brilliantly. And I love it when I'm trying to remember all of the players that I just want to praise because that's such a good problem to have, like not think, thinking I might not remember. But we have to start. For me, my man of the match was Gabriel. I know Partey was brilliant and Elneny was brilliant. But for me, my man of the match was Gabriel. He was immense today. Yellow card for most of the game as well. Let's not forget that. Exactly. He got the yellow card early and it did not affect his performance at all. And this is someone that's getting used to the Premier League as well. You know, that challenge he made against Matic in the penalty area, absolutely perfect challenge. And all of us would have been nervous seeing him go to ground. He won the ball, won it cleanly, did it brilliantly. And then we talk about Thomas Partey as well. Just brilliant performance, immense performance. He didn't do anything... Um, unbelievably spectacular, but that's what you want to see away from home. He's not trying to do anything too much. He's just doing a really good professional job. And he did everything brilliantly and didn't make a single mistake that I can remember. And then El Elneny as well. I mean, what an incredible comeback from this Egyptian flipping king of a player. He was mm. just immense today. He kept that game ticking along so nicely. And that is what he is brilliant at. And these three players deserve all the praise. Gabriel was doing a doping test after the game, and I'm not surprised at all because seriously, <laughs> he's having I want some of it. <laughs> Mo, thanks a lot, mate. I uh, appreciate it. Enjoy, enjoy the evening, man.